Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today I have a funny video for you. So we're going to compare two of my conical grinders. Conical burrs, but two such a different grinders. We will be playing with niche zero and we will put it against one the Easy Presso K Ultra. difference uh, niche zero is the electric grinder and the k ultra is a hand grinder niche zero comes with the dc motor of 350 watts of power and it has 330 rpms conical grinder with 63 millimeters mother burrs grinds about gram of coffee per second so not the slowest grinder but definitely not the fastest it's made out of mixture of materials there is some plastic some aluminium some steel uh, and obviously the wooden accents as you can uh, see outside great for home use quiet reliable easy to use you can do stepless adjustments and it can grind for anything from really really fine all the way to french press and so on the grinder even tells you which is the zone for espresso which is for the pour over in uk a niche zero costs 500 pounds straight out of the box it's extremely easy intuitive it's a pleasure to use if you ask about the retention i often may get up to 0.3 retention but what I use I will put the links in the description and that helps me to reduce the retention pretty much to well whatever I put in I get out and the grinder we're putting it against that's the K Ultra that's the newest of the K line top of the range uh, one the easy press or hand grinder this one is also a conical grinder 48 millimeters a conical heptagonal burst inside I paid 250 pounds for that comes with the nice carrying case inside that carrying case you've got everything that you need to clean the grinder and is also the rubber band that helps to maintain the grip although with the shape of this grinder I never really had a need for that nice magnetically attached uh, catching cup wooden knob as you can see outside and the collapsible handle this is a stepped grinder you have settings outside from 0 till 9 so you work within one revolution size difference in between each click is around 20 microns so you can easily dial in for anything even for the trickiest espresso it takes about 40 seconds to grind 18 grams of coffee for espresso so more than twice as slow as niche zero but it is i would say relatively easy to grind i like the shape of the handle it's a bit better than the previous generation so it's easier for me to hold the grip so what we're we going to do today we're going to pull two shots of espresso one with each grinder i will do blind tasting for whatever it's worth and then i will do the same but with the pour over and by the end we will see which grinder is better also i will have an interesting announcement at the end of this video Video, so keep watching and if you're as excited as myself definitely click like for the espresso we're going to use uh, la marzocco liva style profile on descent 18 grams of coffee in 42 grams of liquid out i'm going to use the coffee from uh, horsham coffee roasters coffee from costa rica that's a naturally processed coffee with the flavor notes of prunes raisins and caramel sweetness <music> have two shots ready I mix them with the spoon so there is no obvious difference in a crema I will rotate a few times okay I will choose one at random it took me forever by the way to dial them in end up on the setting 9 on the niche 2.2 on a K ultra I put the numbers underneath the glasses so number one is for niche and number two is for the K ultra cheers nice body sweetness coca powder in the background but not too bitter neat finish a little bit of the sourness good shot could be a bit thicker for this style of flavor notes i like that mixture of of sweet and sour uh, flavors here maybe even prunes in the background some water cheers 
<laughs> That's a tricky. I, I hate that kind of videos where there is no obvious difference. The same flavor notes, the same kind of a pruny something in the background. Tad more sweeter, this one. The flavor notes, they linger a little bit more. That's the only difference. Body in both is good, but here I think it's slightly thicker. And that fits nicely with those flavor notes. I will choose this one because it's slightly brighter. So what it is? That's number one. So that's the niche. So uh, niche one uh, in an espresso, but I am surprised to find how close those flavor notes were. I cannot say that niche was a clear winner. Now let's use the same coffee and let's do a pour over. We will use Simplify Brewer. 15 grams of coffee in, 250 grams of water, water temperature 94 degrees. I will do five pours in total. Uh, well, let's do it. Once more I have two glasses, uh, this time obviously pour over. I will take one at random. There is that kind of dominant sour flavor here. Maybe raisins, so a little bit of the sweetness. I would have to really really look deep to find those prunes uh, in this coffee. But I like the sourness that it gives like a slight punch to otherwise slightly dull <laughs> coffee. Not the best pour over I've ever had. But it's not the worst either. The other cup. Okay, so this cup, definitely there is more body. The first cup I could get a little bit more clarity. Here I'm getting less of that. There is that sourness as well, but in the first cup it was kind of a nicely built in. Here doesn't doesn't fit. And I'm also getting that uh, kind of a bitter aftertaste. So I think I know which cup is which. I suspect this will be Niche, the other one will be K-Max. The first cup, there was more of the fruitiness. In this cup, maybe certain notes are louder, but uh, there is no composition of flavors. Uh, here, the notes might be slightly quieter, there is more sweetness here. The first cup I can see myself enjoying. So the cup that lost today... And number one, Nish. Wait, guys, if you are still here, by the way, definitely click like, subscribe to the channel. Plenty more things coming. Before I give you my final conclusions, just the announcement that I promised. This is probably the last time you see a uh, Nish Zero in my setup. I will be selling it. And what will replace uh, Nish Zero? Well, have a guess. Yes, it will be Nish Duo. <laughs> <laughs> so the final conclusions today. The espresso was very close. Both shots were great. Both shots I enjoyed. The niche was slightly brighter. That's why I went for it. But it could go both ways. So a very narrow margin of, of win. Now pour overs. I got more harmony in the cup from the K. Uh, ultra by the way if you get a k ultra it looks like it enhances the like a fruity sourness in the cup in the cup of from the niche the notes maybe they were loud but they were not pleasant as such the interesting thing here is that a k ultra half the price of a uh, niche and the espresso was pretty much the same and the pour over was better so you can consider actually getting a k ultra and, and, and having it for both espresso and the pour over now it's time for you guys to share your experience with any of those grinders. Let me know what you think about that niche duo. Is it something that you are considering yourself? For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!